Well, everyone, today we have a new Trader's Van, and this set is the Royal set. I believe that's what it's called. Um, introduced with the Battle Royale update, which is pretty cool. We got the Royal Fighter, the Royal Revolver, Royal Sniper Rifle, and Royal Ashbringer. And I'm not going to lie, guys, this Trader's Van is ridiculously overpriced. 800 gems for the Royal Sniper Rifle is absolutely crazy, especially when you can get all of these weapons for free with coupons. Uh, Royal Fighter is actually pretty good. But I don't know if it's worth the price of gems that it is. However, guys, maybe you have a lot of gems, unlike me. And so buying one of these weapons might actually be worth it. So, nonetheless, I'm going to jump into the game. I'll show you gameplay of these weapons. And yeah, if you want to see more Pixel Gun reviews, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe. And don't forget to subscribe and subscribe with notifications on. Alright, now that I said subscribe three times, hopefully you guys have done it three times, which means that you're subscribed. And we can jump into the video. As you guys can see, I'm already losing my sanity so early in the day, and that does not help right there. Okay, I mean, it's whatever, I guess. Bots can just do whatever the heck they want in this game. Um, I'll be honest, guys. Right now, I I just don't not I don't care for Pixel Gun at all. I do not care about this game in the slightest. It's it's being destroyed so unbelievably fast that the hackers in this game are ruining the game faster than the developers can fix it which is unbelievable to me i i just i i can't comprehend that but i i, I whatever i guess we're just gonna work with it and possibly move on to terraria terraria i don't know we'll see uh but yeah royal fighter is kind of not performing all that great at the moment because everyone seems to have matching modules which is super annoying and then this guy just has a weakening primary weapon with the shield thing, which just makes me do like no damage to him, which is kind of frustrating. Come on, Tron. You're dead. Please. Okay. Fine. Somehow this guy just... Why is everyone here using Leader's Best Friend? That's weird. Also, guys, I want to give a shout out to Pivotal uh, because he hit pro rank in my Discord server, which is like the top rank. Only a very, very few people have hit that rank. And so um, one of the perks that it comes with, if you hit that rank, is a shout out on my channel, which used to mean nothing. But now, it does mean something when there's, like, thousands of people that actually watch my videos, which, again, guys, is crazy, okay? Whoa, hello there. I just wanted to thank you guys all for the support I've been getting recently. My channel's been doing pretty good, and despite me being relatively inactive, a lot of you guys are still enjoying the videos. So I just wanted to say thank you guys for all the support. Uh, it really does mean a lot, and I sometimes forget to be appreciative of that. So, yeah, thank you guys. And right now, my allergies are just absolutely killing me. Um, I took allergy medicine. Uh... But I don't know if it was long enough ago to, like, actually have some effect here. Come on, please die. Please! Yes, okay. So, yeah, Royal Fighter, it's actually pretty good. It, it does a lot of damage. It slows the target. It has more ammo than Golden Friend, but it just does it just does less damage than Golden Friend, but it has some better attributes. So, if you guys are looking for a good spamming primary, uh, Royal Fighter can definitely be a good choice. Um, and now, for the rest of the disappointments in this Trader's Van... We have the Royal Revolver or whatever. This weapon is absolutely trash. It's it's so bad. Um, I'm pretty sure it's like a three shot maybe. Um, which doesn't seem all that bad, but it's bad. So since I'm actually uh, in a lobby with real players, I thought might as well just stay in here. Okay, let's see if I can kill it. Oh, I did kill him. Nice. Okay. I thought that was going to be like a kill assist, but who are you fighting? Okay. Wow, just two shot bots, which is kind of crazy. Okay. So it's actually a two shot. So maybe it's not as bad as I was originally thinking, um, but... Then again, this weapon is just not all that great. You guys can't use it with 3-cap because of its fixed delay, so you have to use it with spamming. So it's like, well, if you have to use it with spamming, might as well use, like, a different spamming backup weapon. It does actually have a pretty good fire rate, though, which is nice, um, but I don't know. It's just, I mean, yeah, no, what? Four shots? Are you kidding? Heck no, no. I'm not going to recommend you guys get this, especially for, like, what was it, 600 or 700 gems? One of the two. That's not worth it. That That's not worth it in the slightest. So I just don't buy it. Don't buy it, guys. For some reason, when it comes to deathmatch, everyone only plays North Pole or Pool Party, which is super frustrating because I just hate playing the same maps over and over again. It gets so boring. But no one else plays the other maps. Warp Toys is all bots. All the other maps are just all bots. Everyone left that North Pole... No, not North Pole. Ice Palace game. Everyone left the Ice Palace game, so I was just, like, stuck playing the lobby against bots. And I'm like, this is boring. Everyone knows that weapons are good against bots. Like, see? Boom. Two shot. Nice. But then I go against a real pl a real person, and it's freaking four shots. Which is, like, a huge dip. Man, I don't know. I don't know. And so it's like, well, then I have to play team fight, but then team fight is just, like, not that good. I don't know. I just don't like team fight. I don't like... I don't like basing, like 
victories on how good my team performs you know like how good do i perform well not all that great right now i don't even i have like one one or two kills and those are against strictly bots which is super annoying so one two that was a two shot that's pretty good so maybe it's like counter modules makes it a four shot i have no idea that was a one shot i mean he was definitely weak but still so yeah guys this game is this game is actually kind of crazy if you know what i mean like this game is wild beyond belief it's it's wild and bomb so maybe i'll just move on to the royal sniper rifle here because this weapon will probably be more fun to use than the royal royal revolver um even even still guys this weapon it's just not that great i mean it's it's decent it's not gonna like be really really bad right <laughs> right i guess right now i'm just kind of the really bad one but come on let me land it does it have bloom does this thing have bloom I, I there's no way i'm just this bad let's find out can you get out of my way oh it has it has very very small bloom okay so that's good to know that's good to know anyways thank you bot for giving me that free kill um i i appreciate that he was clearly just tired of living and yeah it looks like it's like a three shot against real players and a two shot against bots which is pretty good i mean it's not terrible mind you my modules are level eight so those are pretty high level modules and it's still a three shot against players so it's not really like all that great but you know we just kind of take what we got and i just i keep dying bro can you can you leave me alone stop spamming christmas ultimatum and ultimatum for like two seconds please thank you that was still a kill assist are you kidding me dude this game this game is crazy dude i'm i'm honestly so done. i've been playing call of duty mobile recently and you know what's nice about call of duty mobile people actually have like a tendency to want to stay alive and not die every three seconds so like the gameplay is way more competitive and just fun in general it's kind of boring using the same weapons over and over but um at least the game plays better like weapons are actually more balanced you can like get a kill with any weapon in the game um you don't have like people just being stupid and like what this guy's deadly beat doesn't yeah deadly beat it's just that and if you guys think like people don't use the same weapons in this game they definitely do they definitely do so it's like i don't know and um there's some other mobile games i'm gonna try out but man pixel gun is just it's just off the rails right now this update started so good and now it's just trash content creators are getting locked out of their accounts um the game is just unbalanced it's just boring you know and i don't know the extraction mode was a complete failure and i don't really know what's going on with this game but i have nothing nice to say about it right now and so i'm not going to say anything nice so that's just that's just the way it goes please die there we go okay so yeah royal sniper rifle it's all right but um let's try it let's try out or royal ashbringer okay so royal ashbringer is really only good for rocket jumping you have pretty good rocket jump distance and a high capacity plus a high fire rate that makes it pretty good for rocket jumping a lot of you guys were wondering why this wasn't on the list uh for my top 20 heavies and that's just because strictly movement only for a heavy is not good enough to be on top 20s when there's just so many other heavy weapons that are good too you have to consider that it's like sure it may be good but there's also so many other heavies that are not only just better or like on par so you have to like start weighing the options of like okay what are the attributes how much damage does it do uh what maps are are, are they good in so it's like a lot of factors go into my top 20 videos and a lot of people just kind of miss that like royal ashbringer sure it's good for rocket jump and movement but it is not really that good for getting kills it can get kills but it can be kind of difficult and especially compared to pixel cola refresher it's not all that great same with battle falcon and uh spirits whisper and pga tv all those weapons are consecutive explosion heavy weapons and battle falcon is statistically the worst of the three it does less damage it has less fire rate less capacity and so in the grand scheme of things battle falcon is just the worst of the three consecutive explosion weapons and therefore not good enough to be on the list so that's why i didn't even like bother mentioning it because oh crap we got we got who is this is this is this mm, oh that's what what right <laughs> what what is he doing in my game bro oh uh, well we lost this game anyway so i mean it is what it is let me see if i can get a few royal ashbringer kills i doubt it this guy's just gonna take what what bro what what can i can i just nerf you by 50 percent, please for this game specifically so i can at least get kills that's not gonna happen bro that's not gonna happen is it please don't kill me please yes wait wait did he did i actually nerf him he's not moving now i nerfed his movement okay interesting um so yeah as you guys can see i mean it can get kills it's just kind of finicky um 
But the, the main thing that this weapon is good for is movement. It, it, it's very, very good to like just move around the map very fast. But then again, if you guys are looking for a movement heavy weapon, get Pixel Color Refresher. It will just perform so much better um, than this. And so it's like, I don't know. Um, however, this is the cheapest weapon in the Trader's Man. So it's like kind of worth it, but kind of not at the same time. No, I can't even kill him, please. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. Okay. N not to what what, but to someone else. This is what what. Yeah, it, it definitely has to be. Um, Now he's going to be all, all mad that he's going to get clout for this. Okay. Boom. Boom. Also, guys, I'm not going to advertise that Discord server because it's not really a, it's not really, um, that family friendly of a Discord server. If, let me, let me just say that. Okay. You know, you know how the internet can get, right? Well, that's, uh, that's how that deathmatch scrim server kind of goes. So, you know, you know how it be, um, please die. Did I kill him? Yeah, let's go. So Royal Ashbringer, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. And you guys are probably like, well, the performs pretty good. Yeah, sure. It does. And I'm not going to deny that. But, um, compared to, like, the other heavies I just did, I was like, it's not really all that great. But it's still pretty good nonetheless. And if you guys want to get it, I, I won't shame you for getting it. It's pretty decent. However, guys, I will just say I recommend getting it with coupons. Because they're available for coupons. They'll be available longer than this trader's van is available. So it's like, don't rush getting it with gems. Get it with coupons if you really, really, really want it. Please die. There we go. Okay, cool. I think I'm going to wrap up the video here. You know, what was just going to poop on this lobby unless he left already somehow. Maybe he did. No, he didn't. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, if you guys did enjoy, make sure to leave a like on the video again. And subscribe and subscribe and subscribe. So, I just told you to subscribe three times. So, you guys should be subscribed by now. That's six times in one video. So, that's crazy. So, hopefully you guys are. If you're not, I, okay, I guess I can't, like, tell you what to do even though I have told you what to do six times. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you all enjoyed. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye-bye.